does poor mean to me? Poor means being a little topsy turvy. I think sometimes we, like anyone else, have the tendency to um, get a little ingrained in our routines, and it's always healthy to force ourselves out of those routines. Purim is about joy and uh, laughter and fun and silliness. And for me personally, it's a great family holiday. We love celebrating with our kids. We make home intoxication with our families. We have a family costume that we always do. And some people will say it's the Halloween that we get to wear costumes. It's our way of celebrating um, our costume uh, wearing holiday where we can dress up to maybe what we want to be. What was the process for preparing this event? Thankfully, right, as a rabbi and as a Jewish community, um, planning-wise, the Jewish calendar actually gives us a lot of those answers, right? So we don't have to plan a date for Purim because it happens the same day every year. And there's just a couple things that, you're, that you have to do. You have to hear the story, which we read, um, which is in this school. Um, we are obligated to give what's called matanot le'ev yonim, or give gifts to the poor or those less fortunate to us. We're also obligated to give matanot um, to, uh, to friends, to friends. Mishloch manot. Mishloch manot. and that could be food, it could be a gift. Um, and the last thing is, in order to add the joy, uh, we should have a festive meal. Honey, what happened to you when you were just in the front yard? Were you uh, like, yeah, I was in the front yard, and, and, and then and, and I was like playing on the grass, and then I got a grass cut on <laughs> my finger. It's like a paper cut, and I think it's worse. <laughs> Randall. Yes, Father. <laughs> Randall, we don't need to take you to the doctor's office. You're fine. You just need a band-aid. What? No. I, I, I need to go. Like, I, I can see the little blood mark. Like, I, I could probably see my band if I look hard enough. <laughs> it's fine. Now I have your germs in me. <laughs> I had done improv before coming to Cal, but the reason I wanted to join Jericho specifically was because as soon as I like first met everyone in the team, I felt like I really connected with them and I could see this like incredible bond. And it's totally true. I think Jericho is a really close-knit group of just like best friends. Like it's just a club where you go meet with your friends and like have this beautiful little community. Um, and so it's really nice to have people who you are so close with and trust so much um, that and you laugh together every like every day. So it's fun. Just some sort of pyramid scheme. We are a 100% legitimate legal operation. Our supplements cure skin dryness, baldness, anxiety, depression, mortality. I think sketch comedy fits in perfectly to the theme of Purim. It's uh, usually just a band of friends or a group uh, coming together and just trying to make themselves laugh and trying to make other people laugh which to me is what Quorum is all about. How do you see Quorum fit into the larger Berkeley community? Well, since Berkeley really values, like one of our core student body values is like just being yourself and embracing yourself. Like Quorum's all about that. Sometimes the barrier entry is high when say if I'm not Jewish, I don't know what the holiday of Quorum is, maybe um, I'm less inclined to come. But if I'm coming through the doors and someone's welcoming, asking my name, offering me some food, offering me a hamantash, and explaining what the event is, connecting them with the student, that's. That's sort of, if that can all, all those things can happen and, and work out, uh, if, I, I think that, um, and then we do a good job of doing that often, then, then we can provide a welcome experience for most students.